So we're here at Heatwave Tanning Salon in Valcarin, and we have Andrea Gennard, one of the co-owners. Andrea's going to take us through the steps that she would follow for all new clients. So Andrea, um, person comes into Heatwave Tanning, what happens from there? The first thing we would do is we would put them onto the computer system. It's a program designed for tanning salons. It's the Helios program. You put in all their information, they get a scan card, and once their information is inputted into the computer, it's um, passed on to the other three locations in Sudbury, so then all four databases are connected. This way here they can jump from one location to the next. So that's what we would proceed, proceed to do. And then that's where we keep track of their tans, the sessions they took, their time, any products they've purchased. This way here we can better serve them every time they come in. So it doesn't matter where they go, which of the four locations, it's all? Any of the four locations, their sessions are good for any of the units we have. So like I said, once I put them into this computer, within a half an hour, all computer systems batch, and then they have all their information there as well. So it doesn't matter where they go, <coughs> their history is going to show up, and there's no way a person can go to get a tan in Valcarin and go to Sudbury to get a second one? Definitely not, because it's going to inform us right away that that client has already tanned today. So that's your... Your safety exactly yes. and all, all of the products in the back they're um... uh, all the products we have in the back they're all accelerators up to maximizers depending how dark the client wants to get so that would vary and they would give us their um, response as to what they were looking for so what does that mean an accelerator or a maximizer is that got something to do with the tan yeah it, d it depends like an accelerator is just more mostly for your base tan which is what most clients want to establish before they go on a trip or before summer or their maximizer which gets them to their darkest point that they can get. So you can get your tan a little faster? Exactly, yes. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so from from here I guess once they're they're registered and everything uh, you do have some options, you've got different tanning beds. So Yeah, at this location uh, we have the uh, regular 20 minute facial beds and we have the 11 minute stand-ups at this location. So what happens is we would establish what unit they want to take and then we would put them in from there. Um, at the Sudbury locations at a few of the other ones, there's different units that they can take, but we would establish which one they would want to take and then we would put them in and go show them the unit and how it works. Yeah. And all that information is on the website anyway. So, so uh, why not take us through and show us some of the bits? Okay. So where are we now? Uh, this would be the 20 minute triple facial unit. Uh, this is one of our laydowns we have at this particular shop. Um, the client would come in, we would explain from point A to Z what they would do. So what happens is you would lay at the end here where the pillow is. You pull this all the way down. Now the client has the option, if they don't want to pull it all the way down, then they can slowly bring it down until they're comfortable, because some clients have never had this experience before, so it's a little new, a little different. Some clients get a little nervous. And then what happens, this is your start button here. Now the client cannot set their bed. It's something that we have to set up at the front. The timers do not work on the actual units. We have full control of that. So what happens is, the amount of time that we suggest for them goes onto the unit and then they start it. So it's really foolproof. You can't really hurt yourself in here, can you? Exactly. Uh, no, just as far as we supply them with the disinfected goggles. They're disinfected after every client. Now those you do want to uh, wear because they do protect your, your eyes from the UV. So those are provided for you in each room. And uh, the rooms are they're Rather in a nice. Very relaxed atmosphere, so you can come in, relax. It's peaceful. You have the option of the music, or you don't have to turn on the music because we do have the option of turning it off. So it's whatever the client would prefer. So the 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 person who's working here brings the client into the room. Yes, we always show clients the rooms um, because, like I said, some clients have never done this before. So we show them everything they have to do, how to start it, how they would stop it stuff like that so so after they get used to it they can come yeah, in on their they own can come in on their own we just like to make sure that they know what they're doing when they come into the rooms and how everything works and okay. any questions they might have yeah good so where are we going next now I'm so this is our stand-up unit yeah this is the stand-up unit here this one is half the time compared to a lay down um, because the bulb strength is stronger so that's why you do less time 
Um, you have, you would be enclosed inside and then you would shut both doors. They're easily closed and opened. So this would be the unit here, not quite as relaxing as the lay down, but for those clients who are on their lunch hour, stuff like that. Yep. It's, um, and this is a faster one you say? Yeah, it's faster because the bulb strength is stronger compared to a lay down unit. Why would a person take this as opposed to lay down? Uh, some clients who are claustrophobic prefer the stand up. Uh, time wise, some don't like to lay down for a long time period, so they'd rather just come into the stand up, get in and out very quick, and then they're done for the day. Good. Yeah. So when a person comes in from the front, we've seen the uh, lay down unit, and we've seen the stand up unit. So this is an area where you've got how many units in total in the back? We have the four lay down units and the four stand up units. And then after every client, the client doesn't have to take care of cleaning any, everything. We take care of that for them. We disinfect the units after every client, so they just come in and relax. And that's it. We take care of everything else. It's that simple. It's that simple. How often would a person be uh, coming in to do tanning? Uh, usually they'll do in and around five to seven sessions. Uh, just to get a little bit of color and then from that point on they can spread them out to say once a week just for maintenance Yeah Good Okay, thank you for the tour. Thank you